Happy New Year of 2022, Leo. Welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is your spiritual guidance reading representing the energy that will be surrounding you on into and through January of 2022. Before I start here, I'm going to quick switch the camera from pointing towards me over here to my tripod so you can see the reading as I lay the cards out before me in just one moment. All right, so here we are, Leo. For your reading, I've been guided to the Enchanted Map Oracle deck, and I'm going to be laying a circle spread. So dear Lord, Spirit Guides and Angels, please bless whichever Leo I am reading for during this general reading. Sun, Moon, Arising, Male or Female, Venus, Saturn, Pluto, Jupiter, and so on. Please bless this Leo with clearly defined messages regarding the energy that is surrounding them during and through January of 2022. All right, so at the very beginning of January of 2022, we have a Leo here who has the Golden Palace energy. Uh, the realization that you have indeed built for yourself uh, some form of accomplishments in the area of home and or money. Now in the first couple weeks of January of 2022, in the thoughts position of the circle spread, we have the protecting treasure energy. So Spirit is saying, take what you are thinking about and manifest it into this world now, okay? The year of 2022 is a number six year. This is about reinventing oneself, uh, focusing on responsibilities, uh, relationship healing, coming back together with others. And so this is about sharing your ideas, goals, and intentions with others as you start to manifest, if you haven't already, some form of foundation here. Could have to do with home or business. <clears throat> Pardon me. So in the relationship sector of the circle spread, we do have fast movement here, right? The ostrich or the emo, emu is or are the fastest moving birds on earth. Therefore, uh, things start to feel like they're really speeding up closer to the 28th of January of 2022. Uh, in relation to another or other so you're thinking about creating and bringing something into the physical world and by the end of january leo you're actually taking some form of quick action in the relationship sector in relation to what it is you are now building in your life so in the creative aspects position you have this flying high energy what a beautiful energy so as you are creating a new path a new direction spirit is helping you to manifest uh, with clarity okay so this is I'm flying above the maze of my life and I can see where I'm at and where it is I want to go so there's really good energy as you create a change in the area of home or business here and as you share your ideas with others there's going to be quick movement uh, all of a sudden it could be that the time has come and now around the 28th of January we're starting to take action because I know what I'm creating and what I need to do so in the actions position of the circle spread, we have the one ring circus energy. So they're speaking specifically to you, Leo, saying now's the time to take action to create a solid foundation beneath you, goals and intentions within your journey, because we are guiding you with number 15 into a new direction where your actions will help for you to overcome obstacles and move into a path of success. So one plus five is six, six representing success here via your actions in January. So emotionally, this is a time of pause and reflection, slow movement, right? The gentle gardener energy is someone watching over the eggs, which represent goals and intentions. I'm tending to these things day to day, and um, I'm doing so in an emotionally balanced way. So in the subconscious position, we have making a decision. Should I choose this path? Should I choose the other? This one or another? Uh, should I or shouldn't I start to move forward into a new direction? Because I feel like by the second or third week for some of January, for some Leos, uh, this something speeds up here. And you're starting to make decisions and you're feeling like you're emotionally grounded because you know what you're manifesting. 
So in the day-to-day -day aspects position, we have the field of dreams energies. Great. So you are tending to the goals and intentions. And now spirit saying day-to-day, -day, you're starting to recognize that these things are being brought into your physical world. So, you know, certain doorways start to open. I got the 20th and the 21st and then the 23rd of January and then moving very quickly into a new direction or, yeah, in relation to another here or others around the 28th of January of 2022. So in your inner strengths position, we have the metamorphosis card, right? I am going through a very spiritual transformation. I am moving into a new direction where I'm creating a foundation and I'm learning to kind of do this in a slow and balanced way. Uh, I'm, I'm able now to share what I'm creating with the world and move into a new direction because I now know the foundation uh, that I wow. want to create. So there's just like a the overcoming of obstacles here and recognizing that this is indeed a new chapter and that you are evolving spiritually during this process in some way okay so in a three card summary to my left we got cleaning house dragon's lair and encouragement definitely feeling this energy right a current path has maybe been a tad bit painful uh, but it was spirit's way of nudging you into the direction of cleaning house here right getting rid of things that you don't need uh, clearing your mind of negative uh, worries fears and sadness and instead slowly but steadily just like we just talked about moving into the direction of the manifestation of some form of, of foundation financially or in relation to home and family so spirits trying to help you to slowly and steadily ride the wave as you do what as you get beyond certain details and find clarity when it comes to your intentions so there's a coming into an awareness uh, that you and another are where you were meant to be and now uh, i think the two of you are moving into the next direction that was supposed to be in your life at this time so by the second to the third week of January of 2022, we have trusting in prayer as you sit in your dragon's lair, manifesting, waiting. Uh, so spirit saying you are where you're meant to be. Uh, this is a process and it's a slow one. So spirit slowing things down in order for this Leo to find balance here, right? Getting excited about where you are headed and trusting in the signs and synchronicities that spirit is trying to guide you. Spirit is trying to guide this particular Leo away from energies of the storm fields, uh, any kind of difficulties as you create uh, this next chapter of your life. Okay, I see the compass and spirit shifting you into a direction where there will be great peaks of joy, even if there's a little bit of fear, right? Fear really doesn't exist. It's about tending to your garden, right, day to day emotionally in a contented and balanced way and eventually recognizing that your goals and intentions are being born and it's bringing you this flying high energy wanting to finally share a new path with others as you create this foundation in the actions position so it, there's a coming together with others here and encouragement for the action steps you are taking and maybe everyone's going through a very spiritual transformation where people are growing closer in some way in January, especially closer to the end of January of 2022. So as you create a new life, one path comes to an end with number 29 and you rescue yourself by manifesting another. Okay, with a rock bottom card, one path is ending, it's time for a new beginning. Don't look at the path as long and difficult. The mountains do indeed represent obstacles and challenges. But remember, this is about the journey of planting seeds and watching them develop in your life. So step into the unknown when the time comes and know that Spirit's given you the strength for some of you indeed uh, to make changes in the area of home was a big message. So I'm going to confirm and clarify these messages by bringing in the Sacred Circle Tarot by Anna Franklin and Paul Mason. I like to clarify with the tarot deck because it helps me to pinpoint specific astrological signs and or elements by which Leo may be dealing uh, with here in January of 2022, dear Lord, spirit guides and angels. So there's a healing of some form of pain as you research a new direction here, Leo. All right, so look at that, a light at the end of the tunnel. 
creating a life of abundance and stability. If this is a golden palace representing a business or organization, boom, there's an offer that's coming that's going to help you to recognize that you have made it to a point of abundance in some way here. Thinking about uh, goals and intentions, ideas, uh, Spirit saying now's the time to share new ideas, goals, intentions, and projects with others. Because as you share what you're creating in a very diplomatic and kind way in the first couple weeks of January. Uh, it's okay to share. There's, there's a need to be diplomatic and kind here as a new doorway opens. And to share. Okay, they're saying share the real you. Communicate with others in a diplomatic way. And some of you in your relationship sector may be connecting with another fire sign like yourself, Sag Aries or Leo. Now, with the King of Wands energy showing up in the relationship sector, this could be you connecting to another or others in your element, right? Moving excitedly into a new direction in relation to another or others. Uh, communicating diplomatically about manifesting a palace of tradition and family stability and flying high because of what you're creating here in january so spirit saying uh, all of your efforts are going to turn the wheel of fortune in your favor whatever you are creating you're going to start to recognize uh forward movement and excitement make that you're making a decision to manifest something and it is good right spirit saying it is good look at this spirit is actually helping you they're giving you a gift uh, from the universe in the form of the Ace of Wands. This is uh, the realization of the creation of something that is meant to grow and prosper. I'm feeling and I'm hearing a lot about home and family. So Spirit's really nudging you, Leo, to create a foundation and a new path that you're passionate about. A new goal, idea, project, hobby, gift, talent, skill, because now's the time to create a business online that will grow on into the future emotionally we have some form of sadness and regret here but spirit's saying it's time to let go of what was and celebrate what spirit's trying to bring you by setting goals and intentions in a balanced and beautiful way and diplomatically uh, connecting with others and working together is what i'm hearing to make a decision here so subconsciously it's like should i or shouldn't i choose this path or another should i or should i not choose a new doorway um, if I create a new opportunity or direction here, will something else come to an end in the area of home? Some are like, do I bring an end to an old business or home situation because I'm getting excited about a new direction or someone is here? So in the day-to-day -day aspects position, we have the field of dreams coming true, the realization that with the Three of Wands energies, your time and effort now indeed has manifested a foundation uh, that brings you great happiness, right? Flying high because the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor, moving forward diplomatically to manifest a new path in the area of home or family or a foundation of business. So you can bring an end to who and or what doesn't serve you and go excitedly through this transformation. I am redefining who I am in all areas. This is who I used to be and this is who I am now. And check this out with the Nine of Wands energies. This is Spirit saying we're giving you the strength to recover from all that has been when it comes to regrets. This is a new path of abundance and tradition and family and foundation and kindness and passion and joy so we've got to recover and move forward diplomatically bringing an end to one situation so a beautiful new path can open up that is a gift from the universe so let's confirm and clarify with the same sacred circle tarot in a three card spread so we have nostalgia, okay? Some Leos are feeling a bit defeated or conflicted about some form of communication. There's a lot of nostalgia here, but the Six of Cups are empty. So they're saying watch out for those of you who are in a path of delusion regarding maybe someone who has Gemini in their chart with the Swords and the Lovers as a major arcana. Now the Lovers is a very passionate energy, uh, but Spirit's saying if it has been along a difficult path, then that path is uh, being absolved. Okay, um, hmm. 
Yeah, Spirit's going to help you to decide on the right decision regarding a uh, passionate connection circumstance situation. Yeah, so thinking things through and recognizing someone's addiction or unhealthy energy. Yes, getting to the truth of a situation, working with others in the area of money or things of the material, right? Creating a path of victory and success here in hopes that everything is going to go full circle and there's going to be a positive resolution to... Okay, someone really wants to make something go quickly here and you may be just forcing another's hand you know so spirit saying when you are unsure about when or how things are going to turn out here in january uh, spirit is stepping in with the major arcana the moon helping for you to have hope right to sacrifice anything or anyone or negative thinking that was not right for you because uh, eventually things are going to start rocking right a lot of things are going to start to go on because you or someone you're close to is manifesting with the shaman energies they are in the process of creation yeah so this is all about opening your heart you are with your soulmate because we've got two uh, a king and queen of the same element here so we have some who are listening to their intuition regarding a water sign pisces cancer or scorpio or this is uh just both of you very psychologically attached in your mind right this is a caring loving connection where you're both very intuitive and i think you're being guided to just kind of observe as communication goes back and forth about money some may be worried about their health a little bit but Spirit's really saying in order to uh, accomplish good health in January, uh, it is indeed time to bring something full circle here. Uh, there may be a desire to communicate with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Uh, but Spirit's saying it's really a time to reflect on uh, letting go of the past, right? The world is Spirit's way of saying we're guiding you now through a very spiritual transformation here. We're giving you the strength to recover from what all has been. <clears throat> So you can step in the portal of a new path, an overflowing path of peace, joy, and happiness. So some of you are creating a new path in some way that's very fulfilling and you're applying your skills. In other cases, uh, you may be connecting with someone and there's a new love here or a renewed love in relation to your skills, right? What you're creating this beautiful foundation if you are single. So by the end of Feb uh, January, going into February, we have a Leo here in their element with the Queen of Wands energy, setting goals and meeting goals to bring something to an end, right? Having to do with maybe someone you are passionate about and or a situation involving home. Yeah. Your wishes are coming true as long as you just will remain balanced when it comes to your goals and intentions. Some of you may be connecting with someone who has Aquarius in their chart because we've got the stars, the major arcana, and the king of swords. But yeah, spirit's giving you the strength. Okay, you may feel like someone's being cold or closed off, uh, but it's time, I think, to lay the sword. There's, there's something being initiated and built, but it's going to take some time here. Yeah, someone really wants to walk away from one foundation into the direction of another. And for some of you, as you make your wishes come true, just like we talked about now with the Nine of Pentacles, uh, you have this financially independent energy is going to draw someone towards you. Maybe an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, or just someone who has that husband-type energy. Yeah, so letting go and of trying to control a situation. You know what? For you guys, I'm actually being guided to close and clarify with the Romance Angel deck by Doreen Virtue. Whatever you're creating right now, yes, you're going to develop a, a new path, a new direction um, that's going to be a completely new beginning. And it has to do with tradition and family, which is what 20, 2022, right? You've got three twos coming together, healing relationships and um, redefining ourselves yeah so we have someone here who's looking at the golden palace maybe you're thinking about marriage commitment partnership family tradition and money and you're thinking someone's the one but there's something you want to say with that the protecting the treasure energy so spirit saying speak out at this time if you are confused about marriage commitment partnership here uh, because this could be the one or some of you are hoping that's the case. 
So in the relationship sector, Spirit's actually saying, and it's time to take back control over your life. Maybe your mind wandered. That does happen. So Spirit is saying love yourself first, uh, especially when it comes to marriage commitment partnership. Free your mind from whatever was in the area of relationship and trust that if you are with someone, I feel they are indeed the one. There's just a need for you to recover from what was and go through that transformation of loving yourself first. Because as you love you, so too will others love you the same. But it also acts in reverse. So Spirit's saying take action to remain playful as you create a new path here. As you manifest some form of foundation. Because emotionally, yes, there are regrets. There is codependency when it comes to focusing instead on the situations tied to the past. Maybe for some of you a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. But indeed, Spirit's saying now's the time to plant new seeds. To free yourself from crying over spilt milk here emotionally. Subconsciously, yeah, there's someone trying to make a decision regarding a passionate uh, situation or direction, contemplating bringing an end with the death card to one path. But Spirit's saying, take back control over your life. Move into the direction of this fire sign, Sagittarius or Leo, if that's who you are asking about. So day to day, we have express your love, create a foundation, and watch your plants, your seeds grow and prosper. For in your inner strengths position, we're giving you the strength to recover from all that has been. If your family was affected by a situation regarding your childhood or children, this is about coming back together and freeing yourself from constantly focusing on what you regret, right? Look at that past life relationship and a true love. So there's one in the past and there's one with you now if you are single it could very well be mid to end of january where you connect with a new love and spirit saying keep an open mind okay move slowly and then take some time to retreat to observe could this grow into something deeper if you are thinking someone's your soulmate in some cases spirit saying whether this is you, Leo, or another, be careful because there won't be enough attraction to keep that situation going. Look at that. Watch for red flags when you start to try to control a situation. For now is a time to have a conversation. Uh, someone wants to have a conversation regarding separation. But I think, like the collective, if you're with someone, this is about building back upon that and redefining who you are as a couple. All right, so I'm going to close as as well with the Guardian Angel deck. I'm going to do this down in my lap. Okay. One moment. All right. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please close by confirming any of these messages we have previously discussed in this circle spread for Leo and or provide some spiritual advice for January of 2022. So the helper of abundance is here. Although you have a lot to do, Leo, it's important that you get organized first. Once planning is complete, you can roll up your sleeves and get to work. Your guardian angels surround you and are very ready to help you out. So trust in prayer. There is a very, there's someone around you who has a loving and kind heart who is a loyal friend. And a quick wit. Embrace those around you. Look at that, it's right behind you. This is coming together with others and freeing ourselves from the past, manifesting a higher, better self where your kind words and diplomacy is going to bring positive recognition from those around you towards you in some way. Wow. So, should these messages have resonated for you or you would like your own personal energy read, feel free to write me for a reading via my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one-half-hour video readings, and they are a one-month, three-month, six-month, or yearly reading, and my price list will be in the box below this video. I am still offering the Winter Special, which is a 15-minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give that a try. So thank you so much for your likes, your shares, and those 
subscribes. Thank you so very much as well to those of you who've been coming recently for your yearly readings, to those of you who come to me for month to month readings, and to those of you who have been gifting these readings to others. That's been a lot of fun. Uh, thank you as well so very, very much to those of you who have continued to donate to my channel to keep it up and running. Take care and God bless.